This is a video on what it means to be a circling leader. It's, it's one of those practices that, because it has quite a lot of complexity to it, even though it's actually quite a simple form, it's not always easy to, to, to describe or give a good picture of what it means to be a leader. And I want to attempt that with you now. So when you're leading, what you're doing is you, you'll, be, you'll have a small group of people and you'll have one person that will be the center of focus. So the person that is decided will be the, the main focus will be sat in front of you as the leader and then you might have two or three people around you, you might have four or five or six and you'll be sat facing the person who's going to be circled. And so then as a leader, what you're going to do is you're going to invite the whole group into a context, a meditative context of exploring what it's like to be with this one person. And that each person is invited to feel the truth of their experience, like what is it they really feel and, and believe and and see on the more subtle levels when they're really paying attention to the connection with this person and and what and that might sound I mean that should sound already like well yeah one person getting the attention of up to six or seven people well it's quite an intense experience and yeah and what actually happens is when everyone's paying attention in the moment to what's really here in our experience there's kind of an amplification effect it's like amplifying the presence in each person so we get to feel and sense and intuit more in our experience than we usually do especially if we're in a fast you know work environment or at home and there's many things going on you won't always catch the subtle sensations you're experiencing and emotions and it's, and, it, and the kind of beliefs you'll have that, you know, when you really see them, you'll be like, oh, yeah, maybe that belief isn't actually true. It's something I learned. And so when we have this amplification of presence in this group, what you're doing as a leader is you're leading that exploration. You're both modeling this sense of exploring connection, explore, being present yourself and you're guiding those around you to maintain this practice of being with this person, exploring all these subtleties of connection. And the thing that's very inspiring or transformational about this kind of leadership is it's actually immersing us into a deeper level of our being, a deeper level of what it is to be a human being we're becoming more conscious it means more of us is coming into our awareness than would normally be the case because of the both the meditative you know way we're being with ourselves and in circling we we practice and learn to be more present but at the same time because of the amplification of the the connections it's, that gets even heightened and so the practice itself is immersing us as a leader into a more conscious experience. And, and there's this amazing thing as human beings as we become more conscious, more self-aware, more um, paying attention to what's immediately here, especially if it's a connection with another human being. It immerses us in a kind of transformational experience where it seems like the things that we get in touch with are not just seen but they seem to evolve in being seen and being felt so an example could be um, I'm circling you and you know there's a group around me and and as I'm leading what I notice is I actually feel a slight sense of anger as you're speaking and so that can be quite uncomfortable if you're a leader because someone's there, they're already in a position that can be quite vulnerable, like receiving all this attention. 
um, and but then the attention is is you know exploring just what's here it's not putting any pressure on them to be a certain way but still that's a vulnerable situation often and and then if if you if you are in that situation you're speaking and then me as a leader feel a slight bit of anger as you're speaking that can be really confronting as a leader like what do I do like but the invitation is to explore just what's here but what we learn to do in the leadership is we 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 learn to not um, we learn to own our experience so we're not judging ourselves or the other person as being wrong or right or but we're just allowing it to come into more consciousness because it's the consciousness that evolves and helps us transform and so yeah you may be sharing like oh yeah it's it's really difficult for me to be here I don't know what to say and then I feel this little bit of anger then what I can learn to do as a leader is is, is really just trust what's coming but not trust like I should be angry or or well this is good it's no it's more like the anger's here so I can trust that in exploring it, it's going to reveal more of what's present. And in revealing more of what's present, more transformational consciousness is available for us. And so it might be that I'm like, oh yeah, notice as you're sharing that it's difficult for you, I notice that I feel this anger in me. And I'm not even sure why I feel it. And then often what happens when a leader is able to share these more, you know, surprising or vulnerable uh, emotions or sensations is sometimes in the circle is like, yeah, yeah, actually, I feel a bit angry because I'm just so used to inhibiting myself when I'm with people and I just want to be more expressed. I actually, I'm not even sure I am actually scared. I just want to be myself. But... I'm I'm quite a, a loud person, so I'm worried that if I start really being myself, you guys are gonna, um, you know, not you not like it, and suddenly there's a deeper level revealed. And then, but then as a leader, we've got to be careful that we don't suddenly like jump in and be like, no, no, you, you, like you can be yourself, because we come out of the meditation then, and we're like we're trying to encourage and and do something with what's happening. So what we practice is everything that emerges is like, oh wow, so for you, you're, you actually want to be more expressed and there's even an anger that you're, not, um, that you're not able to be more expressed. But it sounds like you're also scared of, if you're really yourself, how is it going to impact on everyone? Is that, is that right? And then, and then when we check in these things, these deeper revealing suddenly can open again and it's like oh yeah yeah that's right I f feel kind of anger and I'm scared and then it's like yeah what, what's that like I notice I get very still when you when you share that so we get skillful at seeing like what it how it is we're being impacted but we're also getting skillful at not imposing or or directing the other person in their experience other than to what's already emerging what's already becoming present and again as we do that we we further amplify the presence of the group and we 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 go to more subtle and deeper layers of both our experience and the people we're circling and the people in the group this is where you get to yeah play with your kind of orchestra orchestra skills because there are people there and they're going to be sharing their experience and, and sometimes they might be new and they might not know how to not judge so they might judge judge the person and then that can be an, an experience because as a leader you might come out of the meditation if you suddenly turn to them and like no 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 we don't judge in circling what we do is this but but then you're not really showing up then in what's true for you you're kind of directing them um, so we learn to orchestrate so it could be in this moment you hear someone judging and you might just be able to be like oh 
uh, is it you're feeling a bit distant right now? Is that what you're expressing? And and direct, you know, helping them communicate their experience from themselves more than a judgment of the other person. Or you you might just stay present and because you're staying conscious and, and not um, trying to fix something, it might be that this, the person being circled themselves is able to share, you know, oh yeah, I feel a bit defensive when you judge me, or, or they, and, then, and then that brings more presence to the situation. Or even someone else in the group is quite skillful in how they share, and that seems to bring a deeper presence to what's happening. So you get to orchestrate by sometimes doing very little actually but well being present is is not actually little it's a really powerful thing to to be still and and be slow and be present or be embodied and in your sensing people will feel that in the leadership um, but you're doing less in a traditional sense of leadership often but you'll feel this orchestration of this meditation between this small group and how it unfolds and that can be a, a really empowering and um, transformational experience as well um, and that's what I so love about leading circling is it's not just yeah I get to feel my leadership mastery and get to guide other people who have deep experiences that's that's cool um, but I find if I do that too much, what ends up happening is there's something missed in me because I'm not just a master, you know, someone who's mastered a practice. I'm just also human and in my own journey. And when we get to really just be true in our leadership and show up, and you know, sometimes I can even share like, yeah, right now I, I don't know what to do. And yeah what's coming up is is really subtle for me and I don't quite understand what's happening and that's the truth and and actually in sharing that and knowing that that's part of the meditation actually that often brings more connection and, and maybe other people in the group are having a similar experience or someone gets really empowered because they do sense what's happening and they get to express it and and that brings like a collective coming together in this deeper meaning that's been revealed and yeah that it inspired this self-leadership in someone else so we get to have this yeah intuitive emergent experience as a leader in a kind of self-transforming consciousness um, meaning we don't have to work hard and take steps to get somewhere it's just even just being present and being here already brings the transformation itself. And then as part of the leadership, yeah, you're, you're open the, the meditation in, a, a, in the practice, the circle in a, you know, inviting people in and then the ex exploration will happen, which is often this journey, a hero, heroine journey and then you'll bring it to a close. And that closing is also important because this non-attachment to outcome or not trying to make something happen at the ending or make it all work out or something often brings this deeper coherence and, and, and it's a very empowering thing for a leader just to be true to what's here and, and then, but also bring our leadership and close it cleanly and clearly so we get to practice that as a leader as well and, and get to, to master that part of leadership. So I hope that gives you a sense of what you'll be learning if you, if you come into a training to be a facilitator of circling. And obviously these skills we're talking about are very integratable into business, into family, into friendships. Because, yeah, it's about being present it's about seeing ourselves with a deep acceptance and about seeing others in that kind of deep acceptance and having this ability to be with subtle and painful and exhilarating states of experience 
And if we have a wider range of experience, there's often much more meaning, but much more capacity to meet other people and to be with them in deep intimacy. And at the same time, while being able to do that, also maintain our leadership, um, that we don't collapse or fold under intense experience. That's really vital. And sometimes our life really calls for us to be in leadership when things are really intense. So that's where, you know, I become grateful that I get to practice this so regularly and yeah, prepare myself for the, yeah, the full range of life.